Hey everyone, this is Chris Dunk. On this video, I want to show you how you can uh, finalize your video. And it's real important that you do this when you're finished uh, because what you're doing in here is, is you're simply creating all the pieces and you can continue to get back in and edit and change and move things. But this does you no good until you finally turn it into a single video file, which you could then share, upload to YouTube or whatever you wish to do. So what I have here is I went ahead and downloaded um, some media. I just have my posters down here and I added a little soundtrack. But again, you don't have to have anything on the audio track or you don't have to have anything on the video track. You could just have all audio and finish or you can have all video and finish or you can have a mixture as I do. So once you have all your edits the way you want it, all you do is come up here and click finish. That's going to ask you for a title and I'll just call this practice video set now it's going to come over here and give you some options you've got 480p or 720p 720p is going to be a larger image larger video the clarity is going to be a little bit better on it however it's also going to be a little bit larger so it's going to kind of come down to however many videos you have uh, what you plan to watch them on you know if you're simply going to be watching these on your laptop 480 would probably be okay for you there uh, if you're going to project them on to the screen in your class or watch it on a bigger television or things like that you probably want to go to 720. Uh, so typically you know if it's not too big i'd say just go ahead and go up to 720. you can also choose a, a thumbnail for your video so it, it gives you a couple examples but that it pulls from your clips in this case i'll just leave my mind time there uh, you also have the option if you do have a youtube account and things like that you can upload to google drive or OneDrive or things like that i i do have some of these but in this case i'm just going to show you how you can save it um, finish the actual video without uploading it anywhere so i have uh, 720 selected and i'm going to click finish and what's going to happen is it's going to process and it's going to take it sometimes it might take it a little bit um, in this case it looks like they've changed they used to have a bar that was a little bit lower and it may it may appear in just a second uh, but it has video status up here okay here we go so this is the bar that i was expecting and typically after a few seconds like you'll see it'll start to do this now i have a very simple video it's only 30 seconds long it's just uh, static images with a little audio behind it but if you're doing a larger video this process might take several minutes and maybe even like go make a sandwich and come back kind of thing but what you want to do is just give it time to to do it uh, sometimes it will give you an estimation of how much time is left and oftentimes it's way off because it may tell you it's going to be 10 minutes and then you come back three minutes later, it's done. So uh, I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. If you were paying attention to the bar, you notice it was kind of just chugging along, chugging along, and then it all of a sudden finished. So in this case, I'm done. My video's done. I've got a link here to my video uh, so I can click on it there. And in the future, I can also find it under my videos tab. So if I click on this link, what it's going to do is going to open a new tab. It's going to have my video here and I have some options with it as well uh, for the video. It gives you some details. You know, it's a 1280 by 720. It tells you what the aspect ratio is. I can delete it. I can change the privacy of it, um, edit the name and so forth. This little guy right here, let's see what he does. That's for Google Classroom. So that's something new that they've added uh, with that. If I click play, it'll play. Now in some options, it may just be the setting that I have with this. Um, you, know, you do have the option to download it as well. Uh, but it may be, I'm not seeing that because of the rights that I have uh, assigned for this particular one. But what I've done here, just as I mentioned, you can go back into your video section and come in here and all of your videos, your finished videos that you have created would populate here. So remember your projects, if you wanna get back in and continue to edit, you would go under projects to edit and find them. But if you wanna see your final videos, just come here to videos. Uh, click on it and here you have it and it's good to go. And that's how you finalize your video. If you have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to ask.